Hey y'all, drop everything. If you rockin' with Young Dolph, throw them Dolphins down in the comment section. I want you guys to really show y'all condolences, drop them emojis, them PREs in the comment section. Young Dolph was the king of Memphis, regardless of what's going on. Yo Gotti, you wrong. You already know for a fact that they wouldn't know nothing about black youngster having nothing to do with this whole Young Dolph case if your artist wouldn't have never said nothing. You already know for a fact, money bag yo. We was pointing fingers all because of what they said. We was pointing fingers at black youngster, everybody who had something to do with it when we know for a fact that the feds been watching this whole case since day one. R.P. Dolph, this Dolph land, everybody know for a fact, regardless of what happened, the timing of it, the timing of young Dolph going there in bulletproof cars, and next thing you know, you get sent up. R.P. to Dolph, man, because at the end of the day, we know for a fact it was a setup. They sat there and waited till that man got outside of that car and they walked in behind him. If they didn't know that Young Dolph was going to be there, how did Young Dolph was able to get outside of the car unprotected like that? Y'all made y'all self look guilty. And as soon as y'all dropped every last one of them music videos, the feds sat back and looked at everything y'all posted, every interview, all the way down to every hood that y'all was going there, posting on y'all IG lives. Charleston White, he already said, Yo Gotti, if you had nothing to do with it, why is you running? Why is you running? It's like, y'all can't even do jail time no more. And this is why I say, Charleston White, he wasn't wrong by even saying this because he knew for a fact that Big Jip is his brother. And when your brother involved in your beef, but your brother go down and you haven't been caught, y'all already know what that mean. That means somebody talking, or somebody don't want to go to jail. How could y'all do these crimes and don't want to do the time? Nobody thought about Young Dolph family. Yo, yo Gotti, he's sitting back looking at it like he, he ain't care about yo, Young Dolph, his family, nobody. If y'all got a two and y'all used to be cool, why would you just sit there and let him go out like that? If you had nothing to do with it and this is so-called your homie and you was cool with home once before. The Bentley truck was right across the street. They saw the white car pull right up, the other white truck pulled down a little bit so that they won't know that it's multiple cars with it. This is why Cornelia Smith and them parked so far back. When you look on the footage, they parked so far back behind Young Dolph's back bumper. What's important now? The main thing that's important is that money bag, yo, you know you're bogus, man, because they'll know nothing about your cousin if you wanna never brand your mouth. And I want everybody to really pay attention to the key factors in the straight drop, Cornelia Smith, Big Juke, Go Van, Yo Gotti, Money Bag Yo, Raven, 901 Trick or Trade, True La Mafia, and I'm not gonna even say Double I had nothing to do with it because Double I was rocking with Young Dolph. Double I was down with Young Dolph regardless of what went on. I just can't escape the fact that they said that Key Glock was supposed to be right there with him. So you mean to tell me he right there picking up a transaction right before he shoot a music video and ain't nobody finna pull up even if they had to wait right there with their arms folded. I want y'all to know, everybody who played a role in this, they the main ones who sat back and watched Young Dolph call their phones, man. They Young Dolph had to call their phone and tell them, we got a music video, we got a sh video shoot. Next thing you know, nobody showed up. So you mean to tell me Dolph was outside of his car and y'all ain't pull up? within the two seconds, but y'all pull up at any other music video, they went inside of Young Dolph Mansion, grabbed the black bag with the blue handle. Y'all already know how the Chanel bags is. They grabbed every last hard drive, MP, you feel me? The port, the little chips. I want y'all to understand, they took all their albums and dropped them. Was they getting money? Why Dolph was still here? I want y'all to let me know in the comment section. After Dolph got sent up, did this drive them to basically want to go get their stuff so they can basically put their music out? But none of their music did nothing, man. R.I.P. Young Dolph, man, because I rock with Flipper more than I rock with anything. I want y'all to throw them PRE emojis down in the comment section. If Yo Gotti lose CMG and go to jail, what is Glorilla gonna do? What money bag yo gonna do? Black youngster, big jilt, everybody who's under him. 
4-2 still locked up, y'all. When the feds want to know who did something, they come straight to the main person, the last person who basically was in contact with them. CEO Daddy O, he was the main one. He was one of the business partners. He sat back and told Young Dolph, you need to start riding around with more than one person following your car. And this is what Young Dolph said, like, man, you trying to tell me what to do again? Like I already told y'all, remember when he was up in that jury store and next thing you know, he tried to back key lock the chain. They instantly wouldn't even get key lock the chain unless he called and verified with Daddy O. When it boiled down to the conviction of straight job Cornelius Smith, Big Jip, and Govan, Govan gonna be the one who get the lesser time. Everybody sat back and thought that it was just gonna be over with. No, it's still going on and the trial date is finna start. Those, those people, those are the same ones who allow your guy to continue to make his diss songs, to sit back and get mad. The only reason he was talking about your baby mama, your Gotti, is because he knew you was foul, man. He knew you was wrong, man. He knew what you said behind them closed doors, man. And it had nothing to do with the song. Nothing at all. Zero to do with the song. And I want y'all to really pay attention to what's going on because Black Youngster, he really trying to keep his distance because he know for a fact you can't play no games when it comes down to Yo Gotti. Yo Gotti done got a lot of people out the way. And this is coming straight from Charleston White. I want you guys to really understand what's going on because if you rock it with Young Dolph, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, man. It's no way it took 10 of y'all, 10, to get one person. And next thing you know, y'all start the foot soldier into the way. Y'all can't real life be out there in the field if you know for a fact you're going to run from the scene. Y'all should have stamped right there, waited till his people pulled up, and bumped it out. From what the examiner's reports are stating, he was hit with a semi-automatic with a fully loaded. Y'all know with the switch on the back? I hope they lock all y'all ass up because y'all wrong. Money bag, yo, you know for a fact you could have told Black Youngs to fall back. Fall back before you get us hot. Was Young Dolph Depp supposed to be a robbery? What, what this was supposed to be something where they just supposed to come in and just hurry up and get up out of there? Cornelius Smith, Straight Drop, Big Jip, them, they didn't know what Young Dolph was doing in the streets. They didn't know where Young Dolph was gonna be at until somebody dropped the low. Young Dolph paid all that money for all them bulletproof cars and he got caught outside of his car. Do you think that it's a reason why he got caught outside of his car? It was a reason because somebody got him up out of that car. And I want you to let me know who you think got Young Dolph outside of that bulletproof car. When we know for a fact Young Dolph just paid all that money for that bulletproof car. If they would have thought about Young Dolph's family, if they would have thought about the family that Young Dolph was helping, who he basically had rent all them places, all them properties that me and Jay Real life, she tried to hold on to him as long as she can, but she had no control over it because Yo Gotti already put the motion in. You feel me? They already, the play was already done. They already ran the play. I want y'all to think, think about everything that's going on. Did Yo Gotti run a play on Young Dolph by using his own people to get him outside of that car? Do you think Mia J is sitting back looking at it like, Man, they left me with all these kids and that was gonna be my future hood. Y'all don't know what's going on. So why would I believe that Key Glock ain't sitting back with his arms folded? It was somebody in that camp who knew Young Dolph was gonna be there. This is why nobody pulled up with Young Dolph. This is why Young Dolph had to get up out of that car. Once he got up out of that car, this was they, they chance. Why was Big Jip waiting across the street? Why did they sit back and tell everybody, get into play, get into motion. You see the car, y'all see the car. I want y'all to look at the fact that Straight Drop, he knew for a fact it was gonna rain down on him one way, one day or another. Charleston White not wrong for what he said because he know for a fact Young Dolph was unplaceable. Y'all know for a fact, y'all already know, if they could have replaced Dolph, they, they would have did it. You can't replace Dolph with Black Youngster or Yo Gotti because they not helping nobody. They not doing nothing for nobody. Angela Simmons said that Charleston White, he saw the documents already. He realized, sat back and said that Govan is working with the feds to get Yo Gotti, to make sure Yo Gotti go down because he wasn't paid enough and his brother Big Jip 
was the main one who should have been locked up before him. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you rockin' with Dolph Lane. Big 30 Cuz and Big Homie G, he he really couldn't do nothing but sit back with his arm folded and watch how Straight Drop just exposed everything that's going on because all the lyrics went right back. They used it in court, y'all. The lyrics went right back to everything that he was saying that he did and or whatever. That's what happened at the crime scene. And you gotta understand, when they start reading them papers, they already know. Everybody who mentioned a certain situation, how do you know this if you wasn't there? This whole Young Dolph case is forcing their hand. They don't know what to do now. We all know for a fact, Yo Gotti, he the main one. He went all the way out of town. He flew out of town. Why would you go overseas knowing that your brother fighting the case? You ain't gonna stick there and stay there for your brother, man? The FBI picked this case up as soon as Black Youngster dropped that music video with him in the cemetery right there with a grave that was resembling of Young Dolph's grave. And I want y'all to know that the lyrics that was used in Big Homie G and Straight Drop Song, that was brought up in court. They got it on the news and everything.